What's, what's up, family, and welcome to another edition of The Daily Five, where I'm your host, Mike Daisy, not that you didn't know it already, and as usual, I'm giving you five happenings within the world of politics and world situations. Let's begin. Article 1, Pakistan, Charity, Charity Money, and Terrorists. According to Fox News, Pakistan is planning to freeze charity money from Haifetz Saeed, who is alleged to be a terrorist, according to the United States. We say alleged because, one, the source of the news from where this report is coming from, Fox, a media outlet known for supporting anything Donald Hitler says. And we all know Donald says many questionable things. The other reason we say alleged is because and the U.S. government has a lot of nerve calling a any human being a terrorist when <clears throat> the powers that be within D.C. are members of a terrorist group that is worse than Al Qaeda, Janio Islam, Janio Mohammed, or any other or Taliban or all the other terrorist organizations that like to go under the banner of Islam, even though they're really not Muslim, 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 Muslim. Anyway. Uh, so yeah, let, so let not, let's not refer to Mr. Saeed as a terrorist just yet. We can call him a person of interest, yes, but until Hafid Saeed is confirmed to be giving orders to attack people, Hafid Saeed is not a terrorist. Heifetz is simply a person with allegedly questionable behavior. While I do not like Donald Hitler, and I really don't, I never will, not a true politician, I don't personally see him ever being that. Anyway, I'm not really supposed to be showing bias. Moving on. There's one thing that has to be agreed upon, and that's um, Donald Hitler decided to cut off military financial aid to Pakistan. This is a good thing. Here's why. To the worldwide Ummah, we asked this question. <coughs> Excuse me. Would Muhammad, the Rasul of Allah, go to a country that already hates Muslims and ask for military aid? No, he wouldn't. That's, that's like saying Muhammad would go to the Quraysh in the middle of their heated war and ask the leader of the Quraysh for um, aid in the form of uh, foodstuffs and other supplies that the Ummah in Medina needs. Muhammad would not do this. If the United States has the heart, if the United States had the heart like the Quraysh did when Muhammad and the Ummah were allowed to enter Mecca, Unharmed, which we all know DC does not have that kind of heart. For those of you who are not familiar with what we're referring to without um, the heart of the course, <coughs> excuse me, in relation to what Muhammad uh, the Rasul of Allah did, study upon how the course did not. Well, just check out the message. There's a, a, there's a series done on. Um, on Mohammed and the Quraysh, probably the Hindu Lake series. Try to check that one out. Anyway, back to the, back to the day of the five. Let's see if Mohammed might want to negotiate. If DC had this heart of had the heart of the Quraysh when they when the Quraysh ended their beef with Mohammed. Then Muhammad might want to negotiate aid, similar to how Muhammad negotiated with Ethiopia to stay in Ethiopia to be free from the Quraysh when, when the Quraysh was after Muhammad and the Ummah. But Muhammad would not beg his aggressor for aid. Present day Pakistan is a mighty Muslim nation. Pakistan should have a wise, wise way to supply its military across the board. If the government of Pakistan can 
allow people who have stupid hatred for Mother India, and they do, to ex if this exists, and it does exist, in Pakistan, then Pakistan has the ability to supply its own military with what it needs. <coughs> Excuse me. Article 2. Egyptian pop singer Egyptian pop singers in prison. Little note before we begin. Two pop singers in Egypt. This is exactly why Video Network exists. As you'll find, as you, the viewing audience, will find out in a few seconds. Miss Leia Amir was arrested in Egypt recently for appearing to make offensive gestures in a music video titled Bols Umek, or in English, Look at Your Mother. Leitha was arrested because her music video features a man getting excited while watching a woman dancing provocatively. The link to the video will be posted on the video on there that I'm showing you early. <clears throat> Get it? Getting back to the story. If one were to watch the music video, even without translation in English, it is clear to clear that Layla is playing the part of a dancer who wants to who wants the guy who is watching Layla, the dancer, in a fashion a man watches a stripper in the United States. Layla wants this man to think about his mother instead of <coughs> instead of looking at this dancer in such an excited way, think about how your view of women is generally. Think about women in a more dignified way. A, pos a possible reason Layla started off the video with an erotic dance dancer was to make a point about how women see men, particularly women of Egypt see men. Perhaps because the men within Egyptian government did not like being positively ID identified by women via Layla's uh, video as humans, the men were shown as humans that only see women as objects, the men, the, because the men were only were shown to only see women in Egypt as objects, the men in government felt Miss Amir's musical expression was strangely worthy of an of attack, or that she was attacking the government men of Egypt via her song. Being that Egypt is a Muslim country, why is not Layla's song why is not Layla looked at as Muhammad Razul would look, would look at her? Or rather, why not look at Layla's song the way Muhammad the Razul of Allah would? The Razul would not only look at the imagery of the song, but also listen to what Layla is saying. Muhammad would ask Allah, Oh Allah, are Layla's words disgusting to you? Not, are Layla's words, are, are Layla's words ugly to me, Muhammad as a man? No, I'm not trying to suggest that I might be easy in Muhammad. I was given a display. For those of you who would think that I'm trying to call myself that, it's called an example for a reason. Anyway, if that's if these things were done, then we would we then we, if these things were done, then Layla might not have the problems that she has. But of course, the government of Egypt and present day will do what they would do. <clears throat> Next person in this same story. We have Shema Ahmed, or Ahmed's rather, who is who the Egyptian police have also arrested for the same questionable offense as they arrested Miss Amir. And in Ahmed's video, which also will be posted on the video network Facebook page, Shema is clearly describing how men see their teacher or how men may choose to see their teacher. 
Ahmed is not suggesting what she wants to do to men or what a teacher wants to do to men. Rather, it's the reverse. Men, what men want to do to women. So if the Egyptian police and the Egyptian government are going to get angry with any, anyone, get angry with yourself. Shema is only telling the truth as, as it is. And once again, what would Rasulullah say? The same as before. The same as before being, Oh Allah, what do you think of this display, this musical expression? Not, what do I, the man, think of the expression? Number three, <clears throat> an activist for state assembly. Transgender activist Ashley Preston, or Preston, excuse me, is planned to run for California State Assembly to replace Sebastian Riley Thomas, who has recently resigned. Ms. Preston feels that she is a good fit for the California for California's District 54, which serves Greater Los Angeles, the Greater Los Angeles area, because of her because of her years of service working with the common people or the people of Southern California, she, who are who are often seen as irrelevant and just numbers to the rich. Ashley knows she has the answers that can solve the problems that plague District 54, which she intends to put into place once she's once she joins the assembly. So, Miss Ashley, from us, the video network, to you. We're speaking into your future, we're speaking present tense of you being in the district's 54, district 54 seat because we at Video Network are speaking to, again, we're speaking to your future and have already given you our full support. By the way, we agree with you on uh, Caitlyn, what you said about Caitlyn Jenner. More on that later. Number four. Interesting one. Racism or just plain ignorance? On New Year's Eve, Masatoshi Hamada of the Japanese variety show Downtown Nogaki no Tulskai Ya Amahinda, pardon the mispronunciation, I'm doing the best to speak it as it's supposed to be spoken in the Japanese dialect. The English translation is, Downtown, this is no task for children. Mr. Hamada decided to perform a skit of Beverly Hills Cop character Axel Foley, originally played by Eddie Murphy. Hamada choose, chose to imitate Murphy in blackface. For those, we're going to show the, um, the pictures of um, Hamada Masa, Masatoshi Hamada on our Facebook page just so that you know so that you understand what we're referring to. Okay, so yeah. Uh, ha Hamada decided to perform in blackface. While many in Japan may not have seen Ma Masatoshi's appearance as offensive, some in Japan did, but not enough to cause Japan to think about abandoning the racist act. According to research done in preparing the story, it was discovered that Japan has a history of doing blackface, but the origin of black, Japan's blackface performances comes from the Japanese, comes from a very interesting source. It comes from the Japanese cho choice to imitate the actions of blatant racist white people of the United States who purposely donned blackface. This was done in the 1940s. Again, the, uh, whites were purposely done in blackface because whites did not want to, did not feel like hiring black actors to do various parts in film or television. Much like how whites did not want to pay members of the indigenous people, whites in the 1940s chose to play members of the indigenous and blacks themselves to keep from paying qualified actors. Getting back to Masatoshi, 
he may not have intended to intended racial hatred or harm but Hamada clearly shows that he has a serious lack of cultural sensitivity and knowledge of any culture. We question if Mr. Hamada would take offense if someone black purposely imitated something offensive to Japanese cultural history. Number five. Bannon sings his own version of Left Every Voice. Donald Hitler is at it again. Donald is claiming that Steve Bannon broke his agreement with Hitler to keep his to keep Bannon's mouth shut after Donald heard about Michael Wolff's new book, Fire and Fury. Yes, we just plugged your book, Michael. In the press release for Fire and Fury, Bannon is quoted as having addressed Donald Hitler's ties to Russia, ties that all of us in the grassroots community already know are true. In his rage of being exposed for the person he is, Donald went and went to his paid media to accuse Steve of breaking Steve's silence with which uh, Steve did not do. If Hitler wanted, wants to accuse anyone of anything outside of himself, which we already know he's not going to do. Donald should direct his anger towards Mr. Wolf. Not that that would make any sense, but if you want to do that, go direct your anger at Mr. Wolf. Being that Michael wrote, because being that Michael wrote, wrote the words, wrote the book, not Steve. Why attack Steve over what Michael did? See, that makes no sense, but then again, who we talk about? <coughs> Again, it would make much more sense for Donald to really investigate any it would make much more sense for Donald to really investigate anything to find facts when we all know Donald is king and author of non facts or as he has coined coined it alternative facts or alternative news. Well, that's it for this edition. As always, if you have it, subscribe. If subscribe, like, comment down below, or as always, comment there. That's it. Speak into your future and stay woke.